Guess whose turn it is? It's my turn. Oh, Haley, Haley's gone. She, they're at their house, so I'm like, you know what? We're gonna do me first. Yes. And we'll do Haley later because I know a lot of you guys want to see Haley's haul as well. And then me. Yes, then I am still here. Yeah, Danny's here. He's just behind the camera. Yes. <laughs> then me. I can't wait to choose my fifty dollars. You know what though? So many of you guys guessed a lot of what I'm gonna get. Oh. I must be very predictable. <laughs> I definitely know one too. I'm curious what she's gonna get for the family. So here you guys, Tina's gonna go with her 50-50 haul. All right you guys, so for, for, for those of you who do not know what we're doing, we do a 50-50 haul where we spend $100, $100 budget, and 50 of it goes to the person shopping strictly for things for themselves. So Tina gets to spend $50 on herself, and then the other 50 has to be for items for the family. So first item, let's let everyone know what the first item is. Let me see. Ooh, My favorite salsa. salsa. It's so good. Wow. All right, so what is she at right now? $44. Okay, everyone keep track. We're gonna spend the first 50, and then we go into the family 50. Yeah. So for those of you who are new also, we have already done this for Emberlyn, Elijah, Ethan, Ashlyn, and Brayden. We have five other 50-50 videos. You've gotta go check them out to see what the kids what the kids shopped for on their grocery hauls. But now it's Tina. Next will most likely be either Haley, which is Brayden's girlfriend, or me. We'll see. But you guys, and then we're gonna finish it all off with a huge, massive Costco haul. So what, what is she at right now? $39. $39 left? Left. Okay. All right, so you just put something else in the cart. So what's the budget at for mom? $11 left. Ooh, well, there's quite a bit here, actually. I do good. This is where you know there's a you pro putting stuff in the cart, <laughs> Honestly, right? Yeah. yeah. It's literally like, <laughs> The half of the cart is full. Wow. <laughs> All right, so we are officially starting the family budget now. Tina filled up this entire cart with... No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> so we're starting now with the next $50 $50. goes towards the family. Yes. So I'm we're excited to see what this is. Boom, she's hitting up the freezer section for the family. Some of it, Ooh. yeah. Some of it, hey, that's good. We got a lot of recipe stuff last week that we still haven't made. Yeah, And so, so there's not like a whole lot. I'm thinking more like extra little things we need for certain recipes and then like stuff like cereal, and bread. Burritos. Burritos, things that kids can kind of just pop in and yeah. be good. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you're like, we just need one loaf, right? Well, we they're not eating to. as many sandwiches. No. True. Well, so, I am making the Nutella thing. Yes. That's true. So this. Is okay, so you guys, we are back home. Got all of our stuff. Hundred dollars. I did go over a little bit. Ten dollars. But like on accident, for reals, for reals. Yeah, it, she would have been. She pretty much would have been right within on. budget. Yeah. Yes, because of the. Cherries. And apricots. Apricots. So yes. produce can be tricky sometimes because some, like the cherries, I looked at it, it said $4.99. I'm like, holy crap, that's a good deal. And it's in a prepackaged bag. Yeah, so I'm like, that is awesome. $4.99 a pound. So we paid 10 bucks for these cherries. So these better <laughs> be some dang good cherries because I'm kind of mad about it. Because if I would have known they were 10 bucks, I would not have gotten them, but mm -hmm. it's fine. So I went over probably about five bucks. Not, no, plus the nectarine. Bucks, so you went over seven like bucks, eight bucks. Eight bucks, something like that. <laughs> so, anyways, there you have it. Still pretty but good. Not bad, you guys. A lot of you guys already have guessed on Instagram, in our latest videos, all the stuff that I would get. You're pretty much right on. Yes. Everyone's pretty much right on. So, as you guys saw, we already got the cherries. So, cherries, yum. I could snack on these all day long. I love, love cherries. She's my cherry pie. But I do, do you know, feel do like. You know what song that is? Who sings that? Yeah, Danny Phillips. Really? <laughs> Isn't that who was just singing it? Yes. Oh, okay. Comment down below if you know who sings that song. Is it, um, it feels like a, like a Bon Jovi. That no. feels like a Bon Jovi. Uh, 
Bruce Springsteen. Who is it? Fan Bammers, comment down below. Danny's looking it up because he doesn't even know. <laughs> no, I think it's Motley Crue. Is it? Cherry Pie, Motley Crue. Ah! Oh, yeah! Okay, I had no idea. Okay, so anyways, we got the cherries. We got the strawberries. You guys, and I, I have figured, I'm like, okay, I'm most likely gonna share with the family also on this. I, I just, I feel weird putting my name on any of this stuff because they can grab it or whatever, so. Well, you're pretty safe on some of those. Like the rice cakes, maybe Ethan. Me. Oh, Ashley. Everyone's like, oh, you get those all to yourself. I'm like, <laughs> I'll share. Like, well, now share. you know what you can get on your next round too, Ember. Yeah, caramel rice. Yes. Yeah, the caramel rice cakes are good. Yeah, the so, caramel ones are awesome. But these strawberries, I'm like, these were a good deal and they all look really, really good and it's a big, huge bin of it. So I'm like, mm, there's enough to go around. So there's that. We got some granola because I'm all out. I actually use this granola for the Walmart yogurt, which is actually really yummy too. And um, I just like to mix it in my yogurt, it's yummy. Ooh. Then Chobani, Key Lime. You guys all guessed this, that I would get the Key Lime Chobani yogurt. Does and Chobani I mean. mean something or is it just a brand? It's just a brand. Or does it have a meaning? I don't know. Get, get you it. guys let us know. Literally, I'm not even going to look that up. I was going to say, comment they down. probably don't know. They're going to just look it up. Yeah, <laughs> let, let us know, you yeah, guys. Comment down below. Let us know. Why is it Chobani? There's, a, there's something Chobani. behind it. Chobani. But there's probably something behind every brand then. Right? 100%. Yeah. Okay, then we got the infamous. <laughs> For me, they're infamous. <laughs> the infamous rice cakes. The popular and famous rice cakes. Yes, so we've got... Just regular salt-free rice cakes and then the caramel corn. You guys, I've said this a bazillion times. Yogurt on top of rice cakes. Sprinkle some cinnamon. It's like, it's better than a sugar cookie. Like, no joke. Okay. And so many of you guys have sent me pictures of you doing it. Oh, like, really? Not one person has been like, I don't like it. Everyone wow. has loved it. It is so good. And it's like a good little healthy snack. So I really enjoy that for like just a quick snack during the day. Then you guys saw the first one that I had to pick up was the salsa that I just love. This is actually the Signature Cafe brand just at Vaughn's. I'm okay. sure Albertsons has it and whatnot. So I just love the salsa. I could like dip and eat all day. So yummy. And actually it's really good on like your salad or anything like that. Cause I was going to get pico de gallo and I was like, you know what? I'll just spread this on my, on my salad. Please don't dip and eat all day. Oh, I will. No. <laughs> No. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I will totally do it. Okay, mini cucumbers. Oh, my favorite. You guys, these are so good with tahini or lime juice and, or, yeah, lime juice and salt. Boom. Could you have gotten so more if you got regular cucumbers? Maybe. Regular cucumbers are what? Two for a dollar? Yeah. So that would have given me four. These were four ninety nine. Five bucks. Yeah, for a bunch, but they're mini. But yeah. I don't know. I like the mini ones. They're like crunchy and good and just easy to cut up. So you you'd don't have, have to peel them. Nothing like that. You you'd have been able to get 10 and, you know, cucumbers. Yeah. Well, I'm good with this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Daddy. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Daddy, for that information that I didn't care to know. Okay. Mini, or what are these? Mini peppers. Love these. Cut them in half. Carve it all out. Put some cream cheese and then lemon pepper on top. And wasn't it like everything but the bagel seasoning? Oh, everything. You do that too. Okay. Which I have done and loved also. So really, really good. Then I got one of these, you guys. These are actually really like, they're the Vive, Viv, Vive, V. Yeah. And so if you've seen yeah. Ashlyn's oh, grocery oh, haul. Yeah. She got two of these. Yes. But this one is the um, ginger and turmeric. And so, and it even has like the ground pepper in here to activate the turmeric which is nice for like inflammation and stuff. So nice. anyways, I grabbed one of those and then I also got some nectarine. Oh yeah. I also got some nectarines, which yum. Mm, I might have one of these tonight. They smell so good. So comment down below. Let me know. Are you a peach person or a nectarine person? I like both. So peach is, is soft and juicy. Nectarines to me are a little oh. bit more crunchy. Really? Yes. I don't know. Yes. It just depends on how ripe they are. So I checked the peaches and I was going to get peaches and they were all like too hard. Okay. So they weren't See? ripe yet. Yeah. But I, but I picture nectarines are just naturally a little bit more like in between a peach and an apple. Mm, maybe. Yeah. That's how more I. More like a plum. Pl no way. Yeah. More like a plum. No. We're oh, gonna, no. Like a plum. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Also, I actually forgot to put something out here. I forgot to put, pull these out. I got 
my favorite kind of lettuce, the green leaf lettuce. Just nice. chop it up for a nice little salad, put some peppers in there, cucumbers in there, salsa on top. Oh, it's so good. Lemon pepper, oh. So, so you, I got two heads of that, which is like, these. this is cheap. This is like a dollar 30 or dollar something for yes. one head of lettuce. Not bad. And so you guys, when I do my haul, just forget about what you see here at Tina's. <laughs> <laughs> just please. We're kind of opposite. He's gonna probably be like all frozen food stuff. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get your burritos. Those are fighting you're words. Your, you're gonna get your Red Baron pizzas. You're gonna get oh, all that stuff. Oh, <laughs> wow. Acting like you know me. <laughs> <laughs> I know you just a little bit, just a little. Okay, so that right here, you guys, all of this right here, fifty dollars, maybe a wow. little bit more. Wow, I, I still, we're starting to see that fifty dollars. It really just depends on what you get. I mean, you could get a lot of like good stuff. That yes, you need. but I, I don't, I, I'm not upset about this. No, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, no, meaning like, <laughs> oh, it's, I think camera. it's worth it. You know? Yeah, this stuff, I'm like, this is literally like, if I were to just go regular grocery shopping, I would pick up all of these items just because I would want them on hand. And we've had some comments saying like, oh, you guys are spending, you know, on five of you, that's five hundred dollars. You could have got a lot more. Da, da. Not really, because we are focused on getting the things that we individually like. Oh yeah. So we wouldn't buy bulk cherries or bulk salsa or bulk mm -mm. Uh, chobani maybe the bulk chobani but, but it wouldn't be honest in a month how much do we spend on groceries more than 500 dollars? yeah regularly yeah. so yes. it's not much it's honestly not much different and we have not had the kids at all maybe just until today say like oh we're running out a little bit right but they yeah. have not said They've like all been happy there's with nothing their stuff. to eat yeah they've been happy with like their stuff that they picked out for the you know week, two weeks, three weeks, however long. It's actually lasted quite a bit. And we're gonna see progression with this, guys, which I think is gonna be fun for you guys to see too. They are gonna make adjustments in their next one, being like, oh, this this last, I didn't want this like the whole time. Yeah. I, this will last me longer. Oh, yeah. someone got this and I wanted that. So it's gonna be kind of fun yeah. starting up and seeing the new adjustments. Yeah, it'll be a switch up. And it's, it is showing them like, how much can $50 get me? Yep. You know, how much can $100 get me? So it's teaching them also along the way. So anyway, that is my $50. We'll move on to the family stuff now. Okay, so here is the family stuff. Keep in mind, you guys, we have done this multiple times. So we still are like stocked on like dinner stuff, snack stuff, things in the fridge and freezer. This is just kind of like some extra, I guess you could say that we, I felt like we kind of needed for like different recipes and stuff. So first things first, all garden dressing. Literally, we already have bags and bags of frozen chicken that I might that's a dinner. Literally oh, throw for the chicken sure. in with Olive Garden over rice, boom, bam, done. So we got that. And, and the leftover Olive Garden chicken always leaves us like, I like it to put in, sam make a sandwich Oh out yeah, of it. sandwiches, I'll so put them good. in my salads. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, it's really, really good. And it goes a long way. So there's that. Then I got potatoes because like I've told you guys before, the kids are loving just baked potatoes. We just load it up with meat and cheese and sour cream and all the things and it's just an easy, quick dinner. Actually, someone told us to put Italian dressing on it. Oh, it poke holes. And poke, well, I poke holes no matter what, oh, you okay. have to air them, but, um, and then you just spread Italian dressing. I bet that's really flavorful oh. and good. I say we do it next one. Yeah, Let's I do might it. need to try that, so. Anyway, big old bag of potatoes. I got one loaf of bread. Usually during the school year, we go through a lot of bread. Right now, we're not going through as much. So I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna do one loaf. And then if we need to get some next week, we will. I, I'm, I'm gonna throw this question out there. We, we're at Vaughn's. So I don't know if Albertsons has the same thing or Safeway or wherever, but the hard salami, the Oscar Mayer mm -hmm. hard salami is non-existent. Like for the past five Smith months. Is the only Smith, place we've been able to find yes. it. Smith. Yeah. So it's like literally a specific salami that only Elijah will only I like too. And you too. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll have to try to find it. Okay. Then we've got the chimichangas, bean and cheese, just for a quick, like they can throw it in the microwave, heat it up for like a quick lunch or whatever. So there's that watermelon. We have been going through watermelon like crazy this summer. So this is just another one we're going to chop. The last one we got was not the greenest watermelon. I'm not going to mm. lie. But the ones previous have been really good. This one seems like it'll be good, we'll see. I feel like you never know until you open it up and check it out. So big old watermelon, we like to just snack on all day long. Then Juanita's chips, which Ooh. is just also another quick, easy, like the kids have been making nachos, so they'll just throw some cheese on there. If we have meat, they'll throw meat, all the things. So that's been really good. Then I needed some chicken broth so I can make some potato soup. So chicken broth. And then we've got two Red Baron pizzas, 
just because you guys know we love our Red Baron and it's a good, nice, quick, easy meal if we need it. Reese's Puffs, you guys, this is not going to last very long, but I would say not everybody in the family eats cereal. Yeah, I'm going to say they? Amberlynn, Brayden, and Ethan. Yeah, are the main cereal eaters. So we got that box of cereal, and then also we just ran out of eggs, so I got another thing of eggs. Five bucks. Five bucks. Eggs were getting expensive. Yes. I was like, holy crap. Five bucks for eggs. So I don't even know what the price of milk is or anything, but I feel like milk and eggs and like bread is kind of a good gauge of like if prices are really going that's up. True. And that's true. And meat. Yes. And meat too. So anyways, that's it. You guys, that is $50 for the family. I don't think I missed anything. No. No, that's it. $50 only goes so far, really. But I feel yeah. like this is not bad because I already, I mean, there's so many different meals I can make even out of just this stuff, which is, is nice. Like, yeah a few ingredients that I needed. Yeah, and let us know, like, what do you guys think of these 50-50 hauls? Do you guys like it? We have some ideas that we're gonna also do with the 50-50 idea um, coming they've up. They've been fun. Yes. Yeah, they've been fun. And so um, we've got some ideas coming up that are gonna be a little bit different with it, but I think will be fun because it gets the kids, it gets the kids, like, active in, in the videos. Yeah, and they like it. So, anyways, that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget, Choose your 